Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next week, 10 days. For today's second video, day 10 will take us to the 9th of February. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS meter at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us uh, towards the end of February now, actually. So I'll get to that for you in a moment, just to say that the first video I received was the 6am upload. And uh, we've uh, got a live stream came at 8pm this evening, we're going to be live streaming Ensembles Watch, so uh, I shall see you live for that. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely Monday afternoon as well. Right, we're going to begin in the stratosphere, so uh, temperatures at 10 HPA over the... Uh, North Pole are still sitting at around minus 30 above the uh, minus 55 where we'd expect to be at this time of the year. The uh, warming has um, uh, leveled off for the time being. I think we'll probably see that ticking up a little bit more later in the week. We might get to around minus 25, possibly to minus 20 uh, at some point um, in the second half of the coming week, but for the time being warming uh, to 10 HPA has levelled off a little bit. Going a little bit low down to 30 HPA. Uh, their warming is actually continuing. Um, we are now above minus 50 at 30 HPA, closer to the top here again, above average um, at this time of year. You'd expect to be around minus 68, something like that, minus 67. Um, so we have had a significant warming of the stratosphere uh, in the uh, 10 and 30 HPA over the Arctic and North Pole. Not a sudden stratospheric warming. It has not been enough to reverse the zone of wind or, uh, or uh, split the polar vortex. But a significant warming of the stratosphere uh, continues. Uh, this is the latest uh, temperature forecast for 10 HPA from the uh, GFS. Well, we've got the red colours here sitting over Siberia. That's where the core of the warmth is, of course, penetrating into uh, the North Pole. Temperature over the Pole somewhere around minus 30, something like that. Right, over the next few days, uh, we're going to find that the warming continues over Siberia. And around Thursday is when I think we might, as we push in these orange because we might get the temperature of them up to around minus 25 over the top of the uh, North Pole. After that, the warmth begins to uh, fade out. The displaced polar vortex tries to push back in, uh, back to the pole, but generally the displacement event goes on and uh, the PV at its roots in the stratosphere, the stratosphere polar vortex, if you like, remains displaced over the North Atlantic and over Northern Europe towards the end of the first week of February. Going into the extreme range with this GFS model, um, oh, signs of another warming actually beginning to start trying to get going over Siberia again there by around the middle of uh, February. So, um, I'm sure you've all had enough of hearing about this, but as long as these developments continue, we have to keep monitoring them, you know. So, um, maybe we'll find that uh, we get to the middle of February and we'll have yet another uh, warming of the stratosphere. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. Meanwhile, up to then, up to mid-February, the displacement event of the stratospheric polar vortex continues. It continues to reside over uh, northern Europe and into the North Atlantic. Oh, we should keep the posted. No update from the temperature so far uh, today. Here. So we still have it uh, provisional up to 28th of uh, January, sitting at 5.0, which is 1.2 degrees above average. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks. We're looking at Glasgow uh, today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Glasgow. We're starting off a little bit cooler than average um, through the earlier part of this week, really. Later on in the week, the upper air temperatures are going to go milder. Uh, so over weekend into the early part of next week, looking quite mild with both upper air temperatures. And then from the first week into the second week of February, just hovering quite close to long-term averages. Precipitation-wise, there's going to be some rainfall over the next few days. Then it goes through a drier phase as it goes milder at the end of the week and into the weekend. That's high pressure. Uh, builds up and, and turn things dry. They're not completely dry for Glasgow, southwest Scotland. There could be some rain even with that, with those southwest winds. Um, most of the areas, particularly further south, will turn drier though. And then into the second week of February, maybe signs that things are going uh, more unsettled once again. 
Temperatures are normally on the 30th of January to 7th of February going to be milder than average. Precipitation anomalies on the 30th of January to 7th of February going to be dry than normal, especially so in the south. The latest wind out from Earth and Nostral dot net shows we're between areas of low pressure today, one low over Scandinavia, another low uh, to the south of Iceland and Greenland. Uh, we're on a slight transient ridge, but this next low will be bringing, particularly the north, a little bit of a battering actually tonight and tomorrow. South Lakes UK and Euro Rose looking for midnight on uh, Thursday. High pressure south, low pressure north, bringing in a mile west to southwest wind. And that scenario continues through the weekend. The only difference is that with high pressure ridging up from the south, much of England Wales turns dry over. There probably will still be showery rain further north. And uh, we get to the beginning of next week under this ridge of high pressure, trying to build heights a little bit to the far north. Um, but up to this point, we're still looking very mild, really, with winds coming up from a southwesterly direction. ICON, again, uh, shows that uh, high pressure south, low pressure to the north at the end of the week, into the weekend. No real change except the high pressure gets a little bit more influential. Probably far enough north to start bringing a very little bit of fog, like morning down in the south. Um, it's still technically quite mild, but that high is probably, at this point, strong enough in the south to, uh, you know, start bringing something a little bit cold, especially so at night. Meanwhile, further northwest, it remains mild with those winds up from a south southwesterly direction. The GFS midnight run is much of a muchness at the end of week and into the weekend with high pressure south, low pressure north, and around that we bring up those mild or very mild southwesterly winds. Um, high pressure probably far enough north to bring some fog into the south by the beginning of uh, next week. Yeah, what have we done there? So well, let's start winding this uh, through. So uh, we head up to a day cam. With the uh, GFS six, uh, with GFS midnight run, I should say, and high pressure is still over to the east and country, low pressure is out, out to the west. High pressure trying to get itself going over Scandinavia, but we've got a very powerful Atlantic, and so any attempt at a Scandinavian high is quickly pushed away by all this low pressure in the uh, 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 Atlantic. And uh, we just turn increasingly mild again as we move through the second week of February. Um, this time with wet and wind weather into the north, but still with high pressure close to the south, bringing quite a bit of dry weather through there. That does look like a very mild pattern that's setting up again through the uh, second week of uh, February. And uh, right way up to the 15th of uh, February, as far as we get to with the GFS midnight run, we're still looking uh, really mild, really, uh, uh, across the country. Winds still coming in from that southwest western direction. It could be an exceptionally mild first half to uh, February that we're seeing here. The GFS 6 there, the latest, much of a muchness over the weekend into next week. High pressure rising up from the south, bringing lots of dry and uh, mild weather with it. That high begins to weaken a little bit. The open part of next week, uh, Rich is trying to get going over Scandinavia. Uh, and then as we move on up towards um, the middle of next week, the high pressure still bridging through the country, keeping things generally dry and uh, pretty mild as well. Uh, beyond that, we get high pressure over to the east of Europe. Low pressure is out to the west. And we bring up a southerly wind. So it's up to a little bit more unsettled through the second week of February. Wet and windier conditions coming in from off the Atlantic. But at the same time, with high pressure weight to the east, we're drawing wind up from the south. So it's a very mild scenario that we have going on here. Just a little bit wetter, really. Uh, as we move up to the middle part of uh, February. And that's how look as we get to the end of GFS 6. And again, the high pressure is away across eastern Europe, low pressure out in the Atlantic. We're still drawing up wind from a southerly direction. Again, exceptionally mild first half to uh, February is, is likely there. If you enjoyed the video, then please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And uh, why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We thank you so very much for doing that. The GM, uh, again, with winds coming in from southwest on uh, Thursday. High pressure to the south, low pressure is to the north. Moving on uh, up towards uh, next weekend, or this coming weekend. High pressure again, reaching up from the south, keeping weather mostly dry and potentially very mild uh, as well, or certainly very mild. And then we move up towards Day Cam. And uh, once more, we find that it just turns a little bit more unsettled to the north and low pressure up there. But with high pressure to the south, the south, probably mostly dry 
as again winds remaining re remaining i should say from that mild or very mild west or southwesterly direction these are grim times for golf lovers uh <laughs> ecm looks like that and it rounds it all off really high pressure dominating weather to the south low pressure is away to the north um the south there might be some chillier conditions at times with these with this ridge possibly uh there could be a little bit of frost and fog and that sort of thing but basically it's a mild scenario that we've got going on here and i do think that the first half there we could be really mild uh to be honest that's how it looked like a tan again low pressure at ice and greenland high pressure the south winds remain from the west flat as a pancake really um and uh everything driving in from off the atlantic this is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometio.com. So most of the precipitation is going to be in the north over the next few days. Not much getting into the south, to be honest. South always protected by that ridge of high pressure. It's a few showery bursts starting to push through, perhaps by around days 9 and 10. But of course, that is a long way out. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 9th of February from the ECM.IT website. 13 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure reaching through the, west, through the west of Europe with low pressure out in the Atlantic. Jet stream could be doing something a little bit uh, like that. So that's mostly dry. But it's probably reaching far enough north to bring a little bit of uh, frost and fog potential there. And then we've got 12 members of the ECM ensembles with deeper low pressure in the Atlantic. High pressure... It's more towards our south southeast. That's a very mild scenario, bringing up wind from a west to south westerly direction. We've got 11, probably including the operational run, uh, with uh, low pressure deeper and deeper in the North Atlantic. High pressure is further south. Lasman Cape with winds coming in from uh, off the Atlantic like that, very westerly. Then we've got uh, 10 members of the ECL ensembles with high pressure. Slightly to our east, low pressures out to west. That's going to be a dry and potentially mild scenario. Winds coming up from the south with that one. And then finally, we have a minority option of just five that take high pressure much further north and may well bring in a colder easterly type flow. But only five are doing that. In two week time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 14th of February, 19 members. The ECM ensembles have high pressure throughout Spain. Low pressure is to the north of Scotland. Winds continuing to be coming in from off the Atlantic. And then we've got 13 with uh, high pressure to our east. Low pressure is to the west. Well, dry weather with that, but very mild. Winds coming up from the south. We have got seven members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure out to of Ireland. High pressure. Trying to get going towards Scandinavia, uh, so that's probably unsettled a mile. However, we would have to watch see what that high pressure is doing to our northeast. We've got six members of the ECM ensemble with high pressure around Spain. That's going to be dragging up a mile or a very mild southwesterly wind. And then finally, we've got uh, another six members of the ECM ensemble with high pressure sent towards Scandinavia. Again, that could well be bringing cold air from the east but once more that is a proper minority option uh so to the middle of february the, the odds favor things to stay very mild to be honest right cfsb2 now we've done it's a 500 millibar high denominator it's broken down into week periods the first week period takes from the 30th of january to the 5th of february coming week has high pressure to our west southwest low pressure to our west northwest everything's coming in from off the atlantic but it should be relatively uh, dry in the south, week two will be the 6th to the 13th of February. High pressure around France, low pressure around Green Iceland. Up comes that southwesterly wind. Uh, week three is going to be the 13th to the 19th of February. Again, low pressure around Green Iceland. High pressure over the continent. Winds coming in from west to southwesterly direction. And then lastly, week four will be the 20th to 26th of February. High pressure is to the south southwest. Low pressure to west northwest. And still bringing up those mild or very mild southwest winds. That could be exceptionally mild February. Wouldn't want to say record breaking at this stage, but certainly would be a, a, an exception by February if that uh, verified. 
Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that for us. We're going to be back later on live streaming. So I should see you at 8 p.m. Uh, for our Monday uh, night live stream. Uh, just uh, coming up tomorrow, we're going to have 6 a.m. upload the EC 30 day knockhead for the UK and the rest of Europe as well. And that was enough, there'll be a 10 to 14 day or two. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this video, that's all for now. And thanks so much.